By now, you have all seen this clip. That Donald Trump couldn't find Ukraine on a map if you had the letter U and a picture of an actual physical crane <laughs> next to it. He knows that this is, you know, an, an administration defined by ignorance of the world. And so that's partly him playing to their base and playing to their audience, uh, you know, the, the, the credulous boomer rube demo that backs Donald Trump um, that, that wants to think that, that, that Donald Trump's a smart one and they're, y'all, y'all, y'all elitists are dumb. <laughs> you, you elitists with your geography and your maps and your spelling, even though my- Your math and your reading. Yeah, you're reading. <laughs> You know, <laughs> your geography, knowing other countries, sipping your latte. <laughs> All those lines on the map. <laughs> now, once again, the folks at CNN have demonstrated that they do not care if this country remains divided. This time, accused sexual harasser Don Lemon laughed down from his ivory intellectual tower at those of us that are Trump supporters and allowed his guests to call us the incredulous boomer rube demos that doesn't know geography or reading and writing and math and words and stuff. Well, thumb your nose all you want, boys, at the hardworking blue-collar backbone of America that knows how to blaze its own trail, pull themselves up by their bootstraps, pick themselves up when they fall down, dust themselves off, and endure with perseverance through floods, droughts, success and loss and keep their heads above water and provide for their families and yes for this country most of them may cling to their bibles and their guns but by god they've got a right to do so because guess what don lemon this is america contrary to what you so-called elitist imbeciles would like to see it become and are die hard doing your best to make that happen now maybe the average american may not be able to pick out ukraine on a map but they sure do know that your precious washington establishment hasn't done a damn thing in decades to improve american life my life is far better than it was four years ago and it's certainly not because of the actions of elizabeth warren joe biden mitt romney nancy pelosi Pelosi, Adam Schiff, Chuck Schumer, Lindsey Graham, Mitch McConnell, or any other embedded icons in the Beltway Swamp. And I guarantee you that literally no one's life has been improved by handy-dandy Don Lemon and his parade of sycophant political pundits and panderers. Shakespeare was correct when he said, when we are born, we cry that we come to this great stage of fools. Listen to me. It is never more true than right now. We're being bombarded with 24-7 information through this propagation opinion machine we call the mainstream media. The prophet said, thus saith the Lord, but the pundit says something, whether it's truth or not. And the great philosopher said, wise men speak because they have something to say. Fools speak because they have to say something, Don Lemon. Welcome to 2020, my fellow foolish deplorables. Don't take insult from the talking heads, but rather wear it as a badge of honor. Even the apostle reminds us that God has chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise, and God's chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. The base things of the world, the things which are despised, God's chosen. Yes, the things which are not to bring to naught those that are. Come on with it now. Maybe Don Lemon needs to read up on some of that since he's just so damn smart. Granted, Don can't fix his own car, grow his own food, create electricity, or make sure the water's running in his bidet that he uses to clean the stud suds off his backside every morning. But yeah, bro, go ahead and mock the folks that do. Your ratings are worse than a 16-year-old in YouTube. You think Trump can't find Ukraine on a map? Well, apparently your chosen god is Hillary couldn't find Pennsylvania, Michigan, or Wisconsin. You guys just can't get out of your own way, and it's going to be fun to watch come November. See you in class, Mr. Lemon, because we're going to have a little education, man. We're going to take you to school. Love y'all. God bless. Here's a, oop, here's a Facebook book.